I'm finally in a place where Twilight is not going to haunt me. And yes, I'm pale. Just don't mind the paleness. And my bed in the background. Kind of a mess. Okay, let's just... It's still a mess, but it's a better mess right now, isn't it? I don't know. But, because I don't have to... Ugh, this thing is still bothering me. It's all white. Ah! I'm probably a vampire because I can't take the sunlight right now, but whatever. That's not the point, is it? What? No. Okay. So, basically, I... I have a review on Percy Jackson and the Light Moon Thief by Rick Ryden, Roden guy with the RR going on. I think that's his pet name because that would be really, really a uh, pet name. What do they call them in America? I know that like his names in Japan is called pet names, something like that. I, I, I'm a fail at life, okay. But um, pretty much, yeah, I think that's his like writer name because he's an Olympian. Kind of remind me of Harry Potter and I love Harry Potter. And so it's kind of a new Harry Potter-ish experience. And if you like Harry Potter, I totally recommend it to you. I love Harry Potter. I actually have never read the Harry Potter books, which is another Harry Potter experience. Like, actually, Furious is really Harry Potter. But I don't know. I kind of am doing the hand thing that I do a lot, but I don't do it in my videos because I know it's annoying. And I kind of do this because I talk with my hands and my friend thinks it's cool, but I think it's kind of annoying at times because I'm like this and that, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I talk with my hands. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to. I should just do this. Okay. But pretty much, it's just, it's really cool. It's kind of like the whole Harry Potter back to life theme, which is awesome because, especially if you like Harry Potter and you like stuff like that, it's awesome. Pretty much, it's about a boy named Percy Jackson, you know, the whole name of the series, Percy Jackson, who finds out he's actually a demigod, which is a half god, half mortal child, and he has to go on an adventure because. Zeus thinks that he stole his lightning bolt thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of butchering this book, but you know, he's he goes on his adventure, and there's there's the people Annabeth and Grover and all of them, and it's very high. It's really cool, and I like how it ended. And I I was like so like during the book, I'm like, oh my gosh, why did it have to happen to his mother? And I'm not gonna tell you what happened to his mother, but I was like, oh my gosh. Why did it have to happen to his mother? Because if that happened to my mother, I would have been like way worse condition than Percy was. Because Percy was like kind of trying to be a tough boy and stuff, but I would have been like breaking it out and everything. And he didn't do that, which I think is really cool because I think as cool and cruel as well, he's like he knows how to preserve himself. I don't know, but it's really cool because I think that I wouldn't probably be able to do that because I don't know. I don't think I could be able to do that. I, I like Percy a lot. I think Percy is awesome. Yes, I totally marry Percy. I don't know. Yes, if I if okay, what happens if you do marry my And so basically, the whole time I'm kind of compared to Harry Potter, but it kind of is like Harry Potter because except there's no Harry and no parents dying. There is obviously a Hermione and Ron just with different names. And there's three of them, and they go on an adventure, and they have to save something, and that's the, you know, instead of a sorcerer of stone, it's kind of a lightning bolt, which is I think is cool. The series is cool because it has to do something with demi demi eh, Greek mythology, and if you guys are into Greek mythology, which, well, I'm kind of into, kind of not into, like I like. Like, I didn't really pay attention to it as much as we did in school last year, but now that we did it in this, and did it in, and it was done in this book, I totally appreciate it. And I'm so, like, canned, just dirty. I'm sorry, it makes it sort of annoying. Um, I don't know. But basically, this is amazing. It's so, 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 so amazing. And I should probably go now because I've been rambling for six minutes about how great this book is when I could have just gotten to the point that I give this book like 10 million times. Great um, book review. And this time, this month, even though I normally don't do the wrap ups for the month, I kind of been reading like OMG too much. And so I kind of want to tell you guys all the books I read this month and just do a collective thing about it. Even though I am doing these reviews, but I just wanted to. Like do a small segment about what books I'm reading, read or reading this month because I kind of don't want to wait until next December to just 
do one of those wrap up type videos, which I'm going to do for 2012. But 10 in 2012 is really far. And hopefully you guys like this video.